Having one or several corner techniques that you can use to score on a regular basis can have a huge impact on your results. It can be the difference between qualifying for the weekend league, getting the desired promotion into the next division or reaching a high rank in for champions. In this video I will teach you 5 different corner techniques which will help you to have the edge more often. I'm Benjamin from The Guide, former pro and let's get right into this video with the first corner technique. For this you want to play an outswung corner. This means the natural curve goes away from the goal. To get this you have to use a right footed player for a corner on the right side or a left footed player for a corner on the left side. You don't need to adjust the curve of the ball, so don't move the right stick. By the way, this is the case for every technique presented in this video. Now all you have to do is aim with the preview line in the center of the 6 yard box line. Press L1 or LB to switch to a player, now you can power up to around 2.5 bars. Since you switch to a player beforehand, the camera perspective will change and you can control a player and reposition him. By pressing L1 slash LB several times, you can pick the player who is the best for area duels, most often tall center backs or strikers. The corner will end up towards the near post at the edge of the 6 yard box. Get the player in this area, press the crossing button a second time and move into the area where the corner will get to. The corner will be performed and this way you have some momentum going forward which makes it more likely that you will win the header and score. Now you have several questions. What player should I use to bring in the corner? How many bars for corners in the tactic setup? Good questions. For the taker I highly recommend having a player with a dead ball playstyle either regular or plus. With this playstyle the preview line is longer but that isn't as important. The corner itself will be much better, more powerful and more curved which leads to a more dangerous corner. In general the stats curve, freak accuracy and power are relevant for corners. But I would always prefer players with worse attributes when they have the dead ball playstyle over players with better attributes but without the playstyle. The technique itself works with all bars in the tactic menu but I usually have it at 1. That way the box isn't as crowded with players which gives more room to my superstar to bang in those headers. So now you will say, but Benjamin, I only have a good corner kick taker for one side to play it outswung. What can I do on the other side? Am I screwed? Don't worry, I have you covered. Here's the setup to make the same technique with an inswung corner. Inswung means the natural curve goes towards the goal. So right footed on the left side and left footed on the right side. Now you line up the preview line with a penalty spot. Everything else is the same. You do the lineup, press L1 slash LB to switch to a player. Power up to half bars. This corner also goes to the near post area, so move your player there, press the crossing button for a second time and bang. Your player rises up in the air and slots it in. But now you will say, but Benjamin, I face so many mean opponents that pull out their goalkeeper and the goalkeeper just grabs the ball, I don't even get a chance to slot it in. Don't worry, I have you covered. With the exact same setup, player to take an in one corner, switching to another player, but just a different lineup, you can score directly from it, punishing those opponents that move the goalkeeper out of the goal. For this you have to line up the preview line around here. I don't have a better way to describe it, you just have to remember this point. But still, press L1 slash LB to switch to a player before. Why? Even though we want to curl it in directly, you use our player in the box as a distraction or bait. By moving around in the box, the opponents think that we want to get the ball to this player, so they are more inclined to pull their goalkeeper out. Power up 3 bars and when the goalkeeper is off the line, press the crossing button a second time to let it rip. If you manage everything right, you see your corner traveling through the air directly into the goal. What a feeling. But switching to a player inside the box isn't only a tool for distraction. You can also use this player to convert these attempts with a higher chance. Basically a security when you fail to line it up correctly. So you do the same setup as before but you use your selected player and move towards the goal. Now in case your corner is too short or wouldn't hit the goal, you can head it in from short distance. Because of this I highly advise to not overhit the corners. So try to avoid putting too much power on it because this could lead to the ball going over the goal and you miss out on either scoring directly or heading it in. But now you will say, but Benjamin I score so many goals with these techniques, in swung, out swung, directly, it gets a bit boring to just score like this. Don't worry, I have you covered. I have two other techniques that are based on playing the corner short. But before we come to this I want to make you aware of our special offer for team of the year. You can save 20% on the guide plus with the code TOTI. 
At the Guide Plus you find more tutorials about other set pieces like free kicks and throw-ins, but also complete courses about attacking and defending concepts, with quizzes at the end to test your knowledge. You can use it on your phone, but also on your PC. Click the link in the top right corner or the video description and give it a try with a 7-day free trial. Remember to use the code TOTI to save 20%. Finally understand FC and reach your desired rank and goals in the most efficient way. So for the last two techniques you have to call a player short. You do that by pressing the R1 slash RB button. You can do this either before the corner cutscene, then your player is already standing there when the camera angle switches or you press it after that. In that case one of your players will come close after some time. Even though it takes longer, I noticed that this variant is a bit more effective because your opponent manually has to select a player and mark your player who's standing short. If you do it before the cutscene, there will be a defender for the opponent automatically. So now, what you want to do is play a short pass and give the intention that you try to go through on the goal line, so your opponent has to defend you. In the meantime, your actual player at the corner will run behind you. Lay it off to them with another pass and now you try to cross it to the far post. So power it up quite a lot, around 3 bars. At the far post there is a decent chance that one of your players left unmarked or is a big threat in the air. From here it's light work to head it in as well. I tried out different values for the corner sliders and haven't really noticed a clear difference. I would recommend either 1 or 2 bars to use this kind of technique. But to make it even more efficient, set up a right footer player for corners on the left side or a left footer player on the right side. This player will play the cross and with that setup it's easier for your player to play the cross with the dominant foot. Additionally, try to use players that have the whip pass playstyle. This will even further enhance your crosses and the rate of success. But now you will say, but Benjamin, these techniques sound all so nice but I'm terrible at converting headers or I don't have players that are good in aerial duels. Do I have any chance at all to score from a corner? Don't worry, I have you covered. At last we have a variation that doesn't require you to go for a header at the end, but use a fan favorite this year, the finesse or trivela shot from outside of the box. Who doesn't love these? Actually I don't, so this footage is provided by my colleague because he loves this broken and overpowered stuff. Uh, anyways, similar setup. You call a player short, press the passing button to play it short, but this time you play a pass toward the edge of the box. While the ball gets there, you call the initial corner taker short by aiming towards this player with the left stick and pressing a 1 slash RB. Now this player comes short to you, which also gets them unmarked in dangerous territory, around the edge of the box. From this position you can either finesse it with a 1 slash RB to the far post when the dominant foot is on the inside. Obviously a player with a finesse shot playstyle will do a better job here. Or you can also trivela it when the dominant foot is on the outside. In that case you have to press L2 slash LT to trigger the trivela shot. But this is just one way to do it. There are plenty more setups and creative ways how you can get your players into finishing spots around the box. But with these corner techniques you now have an arsenal to be prepared and adapt to how your opponent wants to defend your corners. Wondering how you can get corners more often? Going through the wing can help you with that and right now you can click on the video in the center of the screen to get to our ultimate wing play guide. This is it from my side, thanks for watching, keep a clean sheet, I'm out.